but it just turns out that this one is not the right picture of pi 4 star. So it just turns out that pi 4 star for the six molecular orbitals is hard to figure out, so we just need to make a flashcard and memorize that. Well, he's really testing this, in, uh, and he actually picked out that precise difficult one to test you on. That's not really very fair because he didn't go over it in lecture and it's not talked about in the textbook. I don't know. Uh, this is this a practice test? Yeah. All right. Well, it's a good thing you're doing the practice test. <laughs> okay. All right. So I told you earlier that it, some other instructors I worked for never had you do more than um, four molecular orbitals, but it looks like your instructor definitely is not of that frame of mind. So we'll just memorize that this is the correct picture of pi 4 when we have six molecular orbitals. And we always have to ask what reaction we're dealing with. The molecular orbital diagrams for Diels-Alder are totally different than for electrocyclic, because here in electrics, electrocyclic, we have all six of these p orbitals overlapping with each other, whereas in a Diels-Alder, we have two separate molecular orbital diagrams, one for the diene and one for the dienophiles. So that makes a huge difference right there. No? That's a good question. Okay. And then... so, so the question was just asking you to draw the molecular orbital diagram. So I guess this is the answer. I'm showing which way would rotate. Ah, yeah. So if this rotates clockwise, which way should this rotate? Not the same way. You know because of the, mm -hmm. it has three arrows and it's light. So. so is that con or disrotatory? Con, con. So based on our earlier Woodward-Hoffman rules, we would have predicted this would be con rotatory. But the important point is, does that make sense based on our molecular orbitals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in order to get the shaded to overlap with the shaded, we need um, this, to, we want it to turn like this. We want to get this overlap. Well, this will happen if these both rotate in the same way. That's the whole point of this whole diagram, to confirm that the Woodward-Hoffman rules are right, and this really should be con-rotatory. Is that what Woodward-Hoffman would predict here? We've got six, and it's light. Yeah, that's right. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.